Bon Beni na Aruba, or Welcome to Aruba, a sun-splashed island paradise located deep in the Caribbean and host to the 16th Central American and Caribbean Amateur Bodybuilding Championships. But before the islanders hit the contest stage, they bask in paradise, compliments of the Aruban government and DuPalm Tours. with all the fun in the sun, it was time for the finals of the competition, beginning with the countries on stage and their muscular delegations acting as ambassadors of national pride and sportsmanship. An opening stage show featured a former winner of this contest, Bernard Seely, now an IFBB pro, proving that bodybuilders can move by dancing up a storm. Winning the women's lightweight class was Lydia Seely, competing for the team of Trinidad and Tobago. She also went on to win the mixed pairs title with the men's overall champion. A gym instructor at Apollo Fitness Center in the city of Takarigua, she stays within a mere five pounds of her contest weight year-round. How many bodybuilders here in the States do that? Cleaning up the women's heavyweight class was Jacqueline Austri from the Dominican Republic. After placing second in the lightweight division of this contest twice, Lorraine Barrow of Barbados decided on a new strategy. She came in this year as a middleweight, and the added mass was enough to garner her the overall women's title. A computer operator by profession, Lorraine was inspired to train four years ago by a previous winner of this contest, Mr. Anderson Ford. Her goal now is to compete in the coveted IFBB Ms. Olympia and eventually win. One look at her legs and back, and we tend to think she just might do it. The men's bantamweight winner was Daryl Kahn from Diego Martin in Trinidad. With an athletic background in cricket, soccer, and swimming, his goal now is to win the Mr. Universe and achieve pro status. The physique of IFBB pro Lee Labrada is what motivated him to begin training five years ago, and his symmetrical development shows his appreciation. His favorite exercise is squats, something many American bodybuilders hate more than dieting. The Caribbean continues to show us just what drug-free bodybuilders can accomplish. There has been Mike Ashley, Paul Jean Guillaume, Bernard Seeley, and now Charles Darham, this year's light heavyweight and overall men's champion. He began training only five years ago in a backyard gym with his friends. He had won a cadre of titles before, and this was the second year that this title was his. In fact, he has even been called on several times to guest pose at the Southern States Contest in Miami, one of the largest regional events in the USA. His goal is to turn pro, compete in the Mr. Olympia, and eventually win the crown. The Caribbean bodybuilders get better every year, so look out, California. Next year's site for the 17th Central American and Caribbean Amateur Championships will be Jamaica, yet another vacation mecca. An American muscle magazine will be there for the sun, fun, and muscle. So long from Aruba.